Episode 3 of The Acolyte delves into Osha and Mi's early years, featuring two younger actors in key parts. By the end of the premiere of The Acolyte, Amandla Stenberg established herself as the light and dark twin sisters. In the first two episodes of The Acolyte, Stenberg skillfully guided the ensemble of characters, yet the childhood dreams of Osha and Mi raised many unanswered issues. The audience learns about Mi and Osha's past in the captivating plot of The Acolyte Episode 3. As a result, in The Acolyte Episode 3, Amandla Stenberg takes a back seat, giving the younger performers who were just briefly featured in the premiere more of a chance to shine. The young actors that played Osha and Mi were the shining lights of The Acolyte Episode 3, which is a credit to their performance. The episode had a fascinating story, a deeper investigation of the Force, and the deepening of the show's gripping mystery. First off, in Episode 3 of The Acolyte, Lauren Brady plays Osha. Osha serves as the audience's interpreter of the tale for a large portion of the episode. The tension in The Acolyte Episode 3 revolves around Osha's struggle between what her family wants for her and what she wants. Therefore, her actor was under a lot of pressure to deliver a strong performance. Fortunately, Lauren Brady accepts the challenge gracefully and gives an excellent performance as Osha. Lauren Brady needs to portray a variety of nuanced emotions because Osha's struggle takes up a large portion of the show. She is able to capture Osha's heartbreaking anguish as a twin who does not want the same as her other half, her reluctant obedience as a daughter, and her awe-filled marvel of the Jedi at such a young age. This culminates in a masterful display of emotions during the Acolyte Episode 3's last scenes, which depict Osha's transformation into Saul's Padawan. Mi is on the opposite side of the Acolyte's Force Dyad. Lee Brady, the sister of Lauren Brady in real life, plays Mi in the Acolyte Episode 3. Lee Brady's portrayal of Mi helps her create an impression even if Osha receives the most of the attention in the Acolyte Episode 3. Brady does a fantastic job of capturing Mi's quiet but growing rage, since she is fiercely loyal to her coven of witches while her sister is not. As suggested, Mi has less responsibility in the Acolyte Episode 3, with Osha receiving most of the attention. However, Leslie Headland has hinted that Mi's perspective on the events will surface later, which would probably give Lee Brady more screen time. Even without it, Brady's skills are well displayed in the Acolyte Episode 3, which captures Mi's passion and indignation as well as her love for her sister and the nuanced differences that set her apart from Osha. This is not surprising given their previous roles in Violent Night and The Umbrella Academy. If nothing else, maybe the Acolyte's next episodes will explore the memories of me and Osha's early years more thoroughly, if only to watch the Brady twins keep up their excellent work.